I'm gonna show you guys how to fix the Roomba docking problem. I've seen this on forums, on Google search. Everybody's talking about, oh, the Roomba attempts to dock itself, but it never successfully docked until the battery runs out. And then the Roomba is just like right beside the home docking station. So what I discovered is that these pins over time, they get pushed down. And as the Roomba roams over the home docking station, the contact points never touch. But sometimes if you're lucky, the Roomba manages to touch these two terminals if the remote is on tilt or something. Before you try to attempt to fix the home docking station, look at your Roomba and see if anything is covering the terminals. And also, it'll be helpful if you can check the conductivity between these two terminals. If there's no conductivity through these terminals, then it's not your home docking station. We're gonna take a closer look on the home docking station. We want to see which pin, which metal pins are lower than the other one. So you wanna find the one that's either squishy or just rise a little bit lower than the other one. So once you find that out, what you wanna do is you wanna open up the home docking station. It's only four screws. So what I did to push out the terminals, well at first I put some hot glue, but that is a terrible idea because as you know, when the Roomba is charging, the battery gets really hot and the hot glue just melts and it becomes malleable over time. I got some masking tape, I roll into a ball and I push it against the terminal. So the metal pins rise up a little bit higher. Once you have the masking tape installed, all you gotta do is cut off the T standoff, make sure it's not too short, and install it back to the home docking station. Make sure it's tight, the tighter the better, but make sure the bottom part is not warping. Now after that, all you gotta do is simply screw back the home docking station. 